The animator in Unity has some problems, and those will be addressed in Unity 7 or 6.3 or 6.4 or whenever Unity choose to release the new animation suite. But until then, let's fix one specific problem, and that's previewing states. Now, you might look at this editor and think that it looks normal, but in fact, let me show you the normal editor. You notice what's missing? Yeah, when you click on the state, you don't get a preview window. Why is that? Well, it's because you're undeserving of one, obviously, and you'll need to select the motion and then go to the project view and then press on the animation tab. So let's just dive right in and we're just going to fix that. And in doing so, we're going to hit a few little known bits of functionality, but then it wouldn't be one of my videos if we didn't. So first off, custom preview attribute. That's right, not custom editor, but custom preview. You see, we want to leave the editor for the animation state alone, but we want to customize what we see as a preview. And you can use custom previews for any of your components. Let me know in the comments if you want me to make a video showing more examples of this. Now, this custom preview attribute will be over our class animator state object preview. And the attribute will be pointing to the type animator state. And just to note that yes, it is the animator state we're selecting and previewing in the animator, not the blends, that's all done for you, but just the animator states. Now this class derives from object preview, which we derive from to make custom previews. And in this class, we're going to start with two methods, has preview GUI and on preview GUI. The first to say whether there is a preview available and the second to actually draw that preview. Now let's put in some placeholder code to say we do have a preview and that that preview will just be a label to start with. Jumping into Unity and I have our cyberpunk samurai ready to go. He already has an animator and in here is a single state with an animation taken from Protofactor Ultimate Animation Collection. Links to these assets in the description. So if we now select the animator state, we can see that we have a preview window with the label, the one we just added. And if we turn off the previewing code, we get the animator to show it as it normally does, which is nothing. Meaning we would have to select the animation and go to the source to get the preview. We've already been over that. But we don't just want to show a label. So let's override the initialize method of the object preview class to see if we actually have a clip available to draw. First off, we'll make sure that we only have one target selected. We're not playing around with previewing many states at once. We're only gonna do the one. And we're also gonna do this in edit time. So we want to make sure the game isn't playing at the moment. Next, we want to actually check the state has a motion assigned, as there's no point in previewing an empty state after all. Now, if we've got the clip, we'll create an editor for it and we'll store it locally. We can change our has preview GUI to check an editor has actually been created and that editor has preview GUI in order to view it. Now, let's look at the on preview GUI as we will want to play back the animation clip on the state instead of the method, we're going to substitute this method for the on interactive preview GUI. That's so we can actually interact with it, hence the name of the method. Now, in this method, we're going to check we have an editor created, and if so, we'll draw it using it on interactive preview GUI. Now, we are creating an editor. So we're going to want to make sure we tidy up after ourselves afterwards. We don't just want to abandon it. So we'll override the cleanup method and make sure we destroy that editor we've created. Okay, that's a lot of coding. Let's jump back into Unity. As we can see now, when we select our state, the little preview window is populated with the clip and we can press play or we can scrub the animation, all the things you usually do with the preview window. But there's a problem. Let's change the animation in this state by going into the vast collection of animations in Protofactor's Ultimate Animation Collection. What we'll do is we'll drop in a new animation clip and as you can see, the previous clip is still alive in the preview window. So back to the code. We will be comparing to see if this clip has changed in the on interactive preview GUI method. But first, we want to extract the code for getting the clip out of the initialize method, and we'll store the idea of that clip as well now so we can do a quick comparison. So back into the on interactive preview GUI method, we'll use that method to get the clip, and we'll check if the ID has changed. If it has, we will create an editor and set the ID to the new clip. 
We will then return out the method rather than continue on to the preview, as this would cause an error. But wait, we haven't cleaned up our old preview editor. So we'll extract the cleanup code and then we'll run it in this method before creating the new editor. Perfect. Back in Unity and now switching out the animation clips, we'll change the preview and all is right in the world. So this makes the animator say a few percent easier, but what else would you change about it? Let me know in the comments.